वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड माई सेल्फ किशोर वाघानी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्ट नंबर सिक्स ऑफ एच पी एस एस सी दैट इज हिमाचल प्रदेश स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन लैब टेक्नीशियन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू डेज एम सी क्यू आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट फॉर विजिटिंग अवर चैनल फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू इनेबल ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर अवर नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग वीडियोज लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज एम सी क्यूज क्वेश्चन नंबर A cereal protein soluble in 70% alcohol but insoluble in water or salt solution is option A glutelin B protamine C albumin D gliadin fact available for this question it is gliadin is a class of protein present in wheat and several other cereals within the grass genus triticum gliadin and glutenins are the two main components of the gluten fractions of the wheat seed talking about the their solubility or chemical characteristics both gliadin and glutenins are not water soluble that is water insoluble but gliadins are soluble in 70% aqueous ethanol or alcohol there are three main types of gliadin to which the body is intolerant in coeliac disease diagnosis of this disease has recently been improving so we can say it is gliadin that is insoluble in water but soluble in the 70% aqueous alcohol or 70% ethanol so it is option d gliadin will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 103 the lipoproteins associated with the activation of lcat is option a hdl b ldl c vldl d idl fact available for this question it is lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase that is lcat is an enzyme that hydrolyzes the second position of phospholipids preferentially a diacyl phosphocholine and then transfer the fatty acid into the cholesterol to yield a cholyl cholesterol ester hdl particularly hdl apo1 apoa1 is the principal catalytic activator of the lcat so we can say it is hdl or high density lipoprotein is the lipoprotein associated with the activation of the lcat so option a will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 104 the main site of urea synthesis in mammals is option a liver b skin c intestine d kidney fact available for this question it is in human and mammals almost 80% of the nitrogen excreted in the form is in the form of urea which is produced through a series of reactions occurring in the systole and mitochondrial matrix of the liver cells these reactions are collectively called as the urea cycle or the krebs henslet cycle so we can say it is occurs in the liver so options a liver will be the correct answer where urea cycles or synthesis of urea occurs option a will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 105 net protein utilization of milk protein is option a 80% b 75% c 86% d 91% fact available for this question it is net protein utilization or npu is the ratio of amino acid mass converted to the protein to the mass of amino acid supplied this figure is somewhat affected by the slavage salvage of essential amino acid within the body but it profoundly affected by the level of limiting amino acids within a food stuff net protein utilization of milk protein is about 75% so we can say it is option b 75% will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 106 the amino acids which are involved in the synthesis of creatine is option a arginine glycine methionine b arginine alanine glycine c glycine lysine methionine d arginine lysine methionine fact available for this question it is creatine is a substance that is found naturally in the muscle cells it helps your muscles to produce energy during the heavy lifting or high intensity exercises creatine synthesis requires three amino acid glycine methionine and arginine and three enzymes l arginine glycine amino transferase 
second is methionine adenosyl transferase and last one is guanidino acetate methyl transferase so we can say it is it requires three amino acid that is glycine methionine and arginine so we can say option a will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 107 milk is deficient in option a calcium b iron c sodium d potassium we already discussed the same question in context of vitamins vitamin c is absent in milk but but here it is asked for the minerals and the fact available for this question it is milk is a good source of calcium magnesium phosphorus potassium selenium sodium and zinc many minerals in the milk are associated together in the form of salt such as calcium phosphate so we can say from the given information it is with mineral that is iron that is not found to be present in the milk or it is deficient in milk so option b iron will be the correct answer for this question rest of the three that is calcium sodium and potassium are present in the milk so option b iron will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 108 the plasma concentration of immunoglobulin a is option a 1 to 5 milligram per deciliter b 40 to 200 milligram per deciliter c 60 to 500 milligram per deciliter d 700 to 1500 milligram per deciliter for this question you have to remember the plasma concentration of immunoglobulin a is 60 to 500 milligrams per deciliter so we can say option c 60 to 50, 500 milligram per deciliter will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 109 normal range of serum urea is option a 0.6 to 1.5 milligram per deciliter b 9 to 11 milligram per deciliter c 20 to 45 milligram per deciliter d 60 to 100 and 60 to 100 milligram per deciliter this question we have already discussed in our mcq series and the correct answer for this question it is normal range of for serum urea is around 15 to 40 or 20 to 45 milligram per deciliter so we can say option c 20 to 45 milligram per deciliter will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 110 the serum lipase is increased in option a acute panotitis b acute pancreatitis c infective hepatitis d biliary obstruction fact available for this question it is during acute pancreatitis serum lipase increases within 4 to 8 hours peak at 24 hour and remains elevated for 1 or 2 weeks within a half life between 7 to 14 hours it is excreted by the ductal system and kidneys thus impaired renal function also leads to an increased level of lipase so we can say it is acute pancreatitis the condition where serum lipase is increased so we can say option b acute pancreatitis will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 111 the ph at which the enzyme has maximum activity is known as option a isoelectric ph b optimum ph c low ph d high ph fact available for this question here you have to understand the two terms that is isoelectric ph and optimum ph Talking about the isoelectric point or pH is the pH of a solution at which the net charge of a protein or a solution becomes zero or it is neutral. Whereas the term optimum pH refers to the pH resulting in the maximum activity of a particular enzyme. Differing pH level can affect the shape of an enzyme and thereby the activity of an enzyme. Differing pH level affects the shape of the enzyme each enzyme has an optimal pH at which the enzyme works at its best enzyme in the intestine for instant for instance works best at the pH 7.5 therefore we can say for those enzymes optimum pH is 7.5 so it is the optimum pH at which the enzyme works or activity of the enzyme is maximum so we can say it is option B optimum pH will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 112 the cholesterol molecule is option a benzene derivatives b quinoline quino 
quinoline derivatives c steroids d straight chain acids fact available for this question it is cholesterol belongs to the steroid family of the lipid components it's a type of fat in your body and several the food you eat while too much cholesterol isn't a good thing the body needs some cholesterol to run its best cholesterol is the most abundant steroid in the body so we can say it is chemically a kind of steroids so option c steroid steroid will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 113 the normal range of direct reacting or conjugated serum bilirubin is option a 0.0 to 0.1 mg per deciliter 0.1 to 0.4 mg per deciliter c 0.4 to 0.6 mg per deciliter d 0.5 to 1.0 mg per deciliter this is one of the repeatedly asked question for the direct bilirubin or total bilirubin normal range for the total bilirubin is 0.3 to 1 mg per deciliter for indirect bilirubin or unconjugated bilirubin it is 0.2 to 0.6 mg per deciliter and for direct or conjugated bilirubin it is 0.1 to 0.4 mg per deciliter so we can say from the given information it is option b 0.1 to 0.4 mg per deciliter will be the correct answer or normal range for the direct bilirubin so that's all for the today thank you for watching the video please subscribe our channel lab tech world and if you like our work then like and share our videos with your friends who are preparing for the upcoming lab technician exams thank you thank you very much